Uh, so this is how we start a Python file. Uh, we import the raspy and ras uh, package uh, for Python, and then we import numpy and skyp.linear algebra for uh, all mathematical operations in Python. As np just means that you don't have to type numpy dot any function. We can just write type np, and we import them from math import star, which imports all functions just to be on the safe side. Geometry messages dot message import twist. Uh, so under the geometry messages in the standard messages section of us, we have something called twist, which is needed for the command velocity, like we discussed in the video before, and pose for the total sims pose. Now we define some global variables. This is just for the first initial run, and after that we will be subscribing to the topic, and we will directly getting data from the total sim simulator, and we won't be using this. So now uh, let us uh, define the main function first. So uh, main function and uh, yeah, and so this is how we start our main function. So now in Python, the most important factor is uh, to remember that Python does uh, indenting. So first four uh, spaces, that's your first intent. Next four spaces is your next intent. So make sure that you put in space bars uh, for the spaces and not tabs. Tabs can sometimes create problems with ROS and Python execution. So the first thing that we do is rospy dot init node uh, that is initializing the node give whatever name you want to but make sure that uh, it's one word uh, with high uh, with underscores is fine so uh, command test uh, and then we do something called anonymous equals to true and that is done and then we define a rate at which this uh, node is going to publish. So it's raspy dot rate 10. And now we start our, uh, we define our publisher. So keep a note of this name. This can be any name, but just make sure that you remember this name, you will be needing it. And this is there in the ROS tutorials explained really clearly, but I'm just going through the topics. So we will be publishing to the command velocity like we decided. And uh, so now this is called the message type of command velocity. The, uh, the message type of the topic command velocity is twist. So we write twist. And then we give a queue size in case there are a lot of topics uh, coming. We don't, we don't subscribe at the same rate or the subscribe or the publishing notes uh, publishers at a higher rate. Then we keep 20 uh, data, 20 uh, samples of data in our queue and move on. So now we want to make sure that we subscribe uh, to, uh, as long as the Rospy node is not shut down. So we type something like this. And then we define our subscriber. So this is the next intent, indent. And we write subscriber. Uh, we are subscribing to the total one pose. Uh, we write its message. Uh, what is the type of its message? So that is pose. And then we define something called a callback function. This is nothing. This We will define this function later on. Uh, this callback function will just go back and actually put in data to the values that we need for further processing. So we have a callback. And now we actually send some data to the command velocity uh, topic. So we do something like this. Now command equals to twist means the twist type message is stored in command just to make sure that we are not writing a lot and we can avoid some of the typos. So we know that we want to put some linear velocity. Let's put it at 0.2. And then for a linear uh, X, uh, y and Z, we are going to be putting 0. So just make sure that you do put in 0. And then for angular, we want to put some uh, angular rate. I 
actually that's a mistake we don't want anything for x so x is going to be 0 then copy this and then come back paste it and then paste this and make sure you change it to y and this to z so if you wanted to follow a circle we just give a constant angular rate and then this is done so you have sent in your commands now you just need to publish your commands so uh, whatever is the name of your publisher make sure this name and this name remains the same and this command type is the one that is actually holding all information so this name and this name should be the same just make sure that you don't make a mistake with that and then we do something called r dot sleep so after uh, 10 hertz of publishing it will be resting for 10 hertz and then again start publishing so then uh, yeah so now uh, we just display when we actually send in the command to stop this node it's a fancy way of saying print or display and we can say uh, waypoint test done or is node is shutting down and then raspi dot signal underscore shutdown zero so uh, that is how we stop a uh, node and now we will define our uh, callback function so this is important uh, callback function and we just define it callback and we will access everything through data so let's write global x y and psi uh, in the callback function this is exactly where you are going to be putting your uh, controller uh, as well inside this node so we call back doing this data dot x so we get the x position we get the y position and then we get our uh, heading so once we have our heading uh, x and y so after this uh, you have to calculate your turn rate and uh, the desired heading uh, which is explained in the diagram which i will also be explaining in the help session so once you have your callback function this is done the entire node is written up typed uh, so now we'll be running it and we will do that in the next video